Hi everyone, it's Raja. And Raven. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. <laughs> Hi, Rave. Hi, Raj. How's it going? I'm great. How are you? I feel very shaved. I'm groomed. I'm preening. And my balls are fresh. Well, you did that with the Manscaped Lawnmower 3.0. All of it came in this perfect package 3.0 from Manscaped. The Shed Bag. It will fit your lawnmower, ball deodorant, your ball toner, but you can also put any other toiletry that may not be by Manscaped you can carry in this. So thank you, Manscaped, for thinking ahead. What else came with it? This is the magic mat. You open and lay on the floor, stand over it, do your trimming between me down there. Perfect package, 3.0 from Manscaped. You get 20% off and free shipping. Use the promo code SHOOT at manscaped.com. Today we are talking about episode four, season five, All Stars of... Come on, camo couture. This week, the queens had to do camouflage couture. This is my camouflage. I can see you hiding in a rose garden, and this is my version of camouflage. If I were um, ever to be like hidden in a forest, at least I would have nature things, for instance, antlers. Is that a raven on your jacket? It's a raven with raven feathers. <laughs> ka, ka, ka. Let's see if these bitches were as out in left field as we are with our camouflage. But we are not being judged. We are judging you. To the stage, we bring India Ferrari. It's very warrior, kind of Mad Max. It's also Street Fighter. I like this. Is there a reveal? No, that's it. It's good. I like it. India does not do a lot of wrong to me when it comes to the fashion. It's always really good. Sometimes there's a miss, you know, like, oh, I didn't like the boot, but this, I like it. I think it's cool. I think it just makes her look a little dumpy. Like there's a lot of thick layers to this and it could actually be something different for me. It's not bad though. What I like about this look is that India is now like in 2020 has gone to a complete departure in her style and makeup and how she puts things together because there's usually too much. And I like that this is kind of like pared down. I think she looks pretty. Two. Two. Next. Alexis Mateo. She's hiding in the snow. She's hiding with you. She really is. Like this is camouflage for ice princesses. I live. Yeah, I actually really like it. It's a very fresh, new, different take on camouflage. My mind goes right to uh... deer hunting. It's really nice, it's a fresh take on it. And what an interesting way of interpreting camouflage. So therefore I give her a very cold and cool toot. Ooh, toot. Next to the stitch. Blair St. Clair. She looks like a little tree nymph, an actual tree nymph. She could stand right in the Garden of Eden. She could stand in the middle of a jungle. She looks like a wood nympho. You know, hippies want to be hugging trees. I want to hug that tree. It's so fashion-y, like those big, giant, enormous sleeves. And it's just an interesting way to introduce camouflage as, you know what? I'm not trying to blend in with the trees. I am the tree. But if Blair fell in the forest when no one was around, would you hear her? Yes, it is a toot. Toot. Next we bring to the stitch, Jujube. It's got a Troop Beverly Hills kind of like moment. It's very Troop Beverly Hills, yes. And it is camouflage. It's cute. I wouldn't have done the red pump and the red bag. I wish it was a little bit more inventive, but we have to also put it into the context of who these performers are that are wearing the costumes. And Juju B is not one of those girls who is like, ah, ha, 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 look at this costume. 
you know, so it is kind of a, a literal look. It's not entirely bad, but right now this is All Stars and I'm looking for ultra, ultra creativity and something that really interests me. It's too literal. I wish that if she was gonna do the red pump with the red bag, which I'm glad that the two match, I wish there was some red maybe in the fascinator. Maybe some red up at the top. Maybe she should have splotched more red on herself as a commentary to the killing of, of deer or something. And I don't think that's where she was going with that red. I think she just wanted to wear the red. I'm gonna give this one a boo. Mm, I give it, I give it a two. Next to the stage. Mayhem in pink camouflage. This is cute. I think it's a beautiful silhouette on her. It's that kind of bodysuit, big hair, big boots, drag, very classic silhouette. I, I like it. Yeah, I do too. Kind of femme body. I love red hair on her too. She's kind of played with it a little bit and she just looks really, really ultra glamorous and I like it. Two. Two. Next to the stage, Miss Kraka. It's a good silhouette on her. It works for her. But I always feel like there's a part of her that the outfits don't even belong to her. And I know they're made specifically for her and they're usually beautifully done. She's looked at queens and said, oh, they wear this, they do this. This is the way they do their makeup. This is the way they wear their hair. This is the nails they wear. This. She has taken a little bit from everyone and said, okay, here's Miss Cracker. It's what I call add to cart because somebody did a great job making that for her, but I don't believe it on her. You know what I'm saying? I get it. Okay, as long as I'm not alone in this. No, bitch, I feel you. I feel you. I done felt ya since, uh, Way back. It's a two. I give it a two. Next to the stage, Cher. My God. I love every thing. Head to toe, side to side, front to back, wrapped to can. I agree. A thousand, thousand, thousand percent. The glasses, it's the styling with the scarf around the head, the hairdo, the thing. I don't know what she's trying to hide from in this particular camouflage, but I don't give a f She looks so good. She's probably trying to hide from you. That's, you know what? You usually are the one to say this. I'm gonna say it first. Shoot. That is a shoot. Trend alert. Cam. Camp. Let's go camping, you campy camping. bitch. Camping. You know, Camp. camping, it's it's so intense. Get it? Oh. <laughs> Our, Our top, top two, two of the, the week, week is... is... Shea Coulee! Wah, 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 Shea Coulee. Tune in every Friday to VH1 to check out an all new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. And if you can't get VH1 where you live, make sure you check out the link below to see if you can watch RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars Season 5 on WOW Presents Plus. Right here. Okay, let's go to our backyards and go camping. Bye. Bye, we're gonna go camping. Bye.